Thank you. Uh, it's a couple days ago, Saturday night, our uh, longtime serving Macomb County Treasurer, uh, Ted Wabi, uh, passed away. And uh, Ted was a very good friend of mine. I've known him for quite a few years. I started in the uh, Young Democrats, and uh, Ted was a, a very um, forceful personality in Macomb County politics and in the community and a, and a whole a incredible range of different things that he was involved in. And I think the, maybe the best thing I could say about him uh, of many very good things was I considered him a very good friend. He had a great sense of humor. Uh, I'll always remember um, one of the things that, that uh, always stuck out of my mind was the uh, number of different roasts I would go to and he had a, um, an incredibly gifted sense of humor and it's something that I think I'll always remember on him. But Ted was also a very complex individual with um, an incredible array of talents and contributions to the community. He was born on February 10, 1931 in Leamington, Ontario to Joseph and Ann Wabi. And in 1952, he met his love of his life, Yvonne, at a dance in Windsor. They married on uh, April 25, 1953 at the Immaculate Conception Church in Windsor. And after living in Windsor and Detroit, they became residents of St. Clair Shores in 1964, where they raised their six children, Sandra, Joseph, Cheryl, Walter, Susan, and uh, Teddy, uh, and, and Michelle. They were later blessed with the, the joy of grandparenthood and with the addition of nine grandchildren and three great-grandchildren. Ted had a remarkable career of service in both the business and political sectors. He was a Comerica uh, Bank vice president for 31 years as well as vice chairman of Ferris State University's Board of Regents and finance committee chairman. Because he believed in improving the lives of others, he began his political career as Lakeshore uh, School Board Vice President from 1979 to 1981. He was elected to the St. Clair Shores City Council and served from 1981 to 1983 until he became the St. Clair Shores Mayor from 1983 to 1995. In 1995 to the present, Ted served as Macomb County Treasurer, a role he has filled with much passion. His legacy of service to all will be a pleasure to those coming in contact with him with him will long be remembered. He served in various organizations to improve and benefit our state, county, community, and individuals' quality of life. He was Michigan State Transportation Commission Chairman, Macomb County Building Authority Treasurer, Macomb County Economic Development Corporation Member, Macomb County Solid Waste Planning Committee Member, Shoreward Kiwanis Member, Bishop Murphy Knights of Columbus Fourth Degree Member, MedStar Ambulance Board of Directors Member, University Truckload Services Incorporated Board of Directors Member and Chairman of the Audit Committee, M59 Corridor Association member, Lebanese American Chamber of Commerce Advisory member, and Mount Clemens General Hospital, now McLaren uh, Macomb Hospital, chairman of the board, where the Ted B. Walby Cancer Center was named in his honor. Indeed, he was a much loved, admired community leader whose tireless work over the years has touched thousands. The life of Ted Wabi is a study in the power of hard work, dedication, and commitment. To all who came in contact with this highly respected individual, he exemplified the spirit, enthusiasm, and dedication necessary in today's world. He believed his duty in life was to help those in need. Hence, his work to feed the homeless and the poor at his home parish of St. Margaret of Scotland Church in St. Clair Shores and leaving Christmas gifts for needy children. He's been a public service of the highest caliber, who is the winner of five National Association County Achievement Awards, March of Dimes Man of the Year, Mount Clemens General Hospital Citizen of the Year, SEMCOG Joint Public Services Award recipient for Outstanding Leadership, Thanks for giving awards committee recognition for philanthropic and uh, volunteer efforts. Michigan Hospital Association Healthcare Leadership Award, Qantas, Hick Qantas Hickson Award, and Macomb County Hall of Fame inductee. In Crane's Detroit Business Special Report on Regional Leadership, Ted was named as one of 21 regional power brokers. Understanding, unselfish, and untiring in his efforts to help others, Ted's legacy will live on. He has left an unfillable void in many lives, and we extend our sympathies to those who suffer his loss but treasure his memory. I'd ask my colleagues to uh, join with me in, uh, in a moment of silence, and I ask that my comments be printed in today's journal. Member of staff, please rise. <laughs> 